Hello and welcome back to another review from Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update of um, Let's have a look the Lighthouse OS, which is compiled for Redmi Note 5 Plus wins. The um, ROM is compiled by our friend Ridwik, and honestly speaking, after using the ROM for couple of hours I feel like he did a great job in optimizing the trees and uh, delivering a nice performance row. As you can see from the uh, set settings or about phone page itself the Android version is 12 and uh, you can see the um, Android security update is 5th of March and the kernel it is using 4.9.308 unitrix and it's an amazing build so let's begin our review. The ROM is equipped with the GApps, so as you can see from the app drawer itself, it's having quite a lot of GApps. But yeah, we cannot say that it is too much bloated with GApps, but uh, useful GApps which are necessary for daily use. Let's take a look at the launcher. So home settings, you will have the uh, Google launcher by default. Then let's have a look if we are going to get the uh, widgets. So basically the clock widgets are something that we always look for so basically we will get the android 12 clock widgets with this row so that is amazing isn't it so let's go to the uh, settings page now as you can see uh, they have not modified the user interface for the settings page or even the quick settings so basically you will have the default quick settings uh, layout and stuff like that or there is only uh, one difference like it's having dual tone you are having the uh, black color as background for the buttons and um, grayish white for the notification panel so that looks really fantastic so we will start with the customization so basically supplies is what their customization is and we will start with the stop, uh, status bar well we cannot say that they are offering you quite a lot of customization but just useful customization though so tap on status bar to put uh, put sleep put the phone on sleep then traffic indicators you will get uh, three modes that's it and uh, some more customization related to wall light icon and stuff like that so there isn't much customization then comes the notification again you are not going to get quite a lot of customization but just few customization or we can say yeah some customization then comes the power menu then comes the lock screen then comes the buttons then finally the theme you cannot set custom colors for your um, your your user interface so that's only a drawback with this ROM well um, we cannot say that that is that is just the customization once you go to the battery you can see uh, you can enable and disable battery percentage from here then you will have the idle manager to stop the um, background running processes just like we had um, we had in Havoc for the kill background application so if you use the Havoc from 4.13 or 1.2 I don't I don't know which which version exactly but they have got the similar uh, kind of thing so once you go to the display you can see that you won't get any customization from the display too but overall the ROM feels great because the ROM is really nice to use the ROM is smooth and um, you will get some meaningful customization you cannot say that you are going to get quite a lot of customization then coming to the wallpaper and style you will have the themed icons so basically you can set the themed icons and you can adjust the um, grid size for your launcher so that is about the review for the ROM and as you can see even the uh, even the themed icons they are capable of converting uh, converting other application icons into the themed icon you can see um, my recorder being uh, themed over here look here yeah you can see REC and it's being themed so that's about the review for this particular ROM well what are my verdicts about the ROM honestly speaking my verdict is that it is a nice ROM I know project uh, lighthouse from Android 11 itself and it's a nice um, nice 
ROM and if you want to use it as a daily driver definitely you can use it as a daily driver and uh, regarding the Magisk or safety net thing if you're using Magisk make sure to hide the Magisk and it will uh, pass the safety net and what about the battery backup well I do not I do not know about the battery backup because I didn't use the ROM for that much long but we hope that it can give you a nice battery backup too so once again I would like to thank you for watching my review also I would like to thank Redvik for compiling the ROM this amazing ROM for our uh, Redmi Note 5, Note 5 Plus wins and uh, many thanks for him to um, for, for optimizing his trees and delivering a nice performance ROM once again I would like to thank you and uh, wish you a good day too thank you